Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you watch my videos, you might recognize this box. I bought a few fantasy drawing books recently and I did a quick look video at one of those books. So let's take a look at one of the other books that I got in this order. Um, not that one, we'll do that one next video. Uh, this one was the one I was planning on looking at today. So let me move this box out of the way and get that in focus. So, The Explorer's Guide to Drawing Fantasy Creatures. Sorry, the light's really reflective. Hopefully you can see it quite clearly. This is one that I hadn't heard of and I just came across it on Amazon. And I started looking at this artist's work on her website and her Instagram. And she looks like she's really good with watercolours. So, as I always say, I don't want to show the entire book because it's not fair to the artist. I just want to do this as a quick look um, so that people can see whether it's the kind of thing they'd be interested in buying. So in the contents, let's take a look. We've got basics, creating a creature, creatures of myth, creatures of water, oh that's pretty cool, creatures of land and creatures of the sky. So looking at this bit here, it looks like it might actually be intended for painters, which I don't actually do much um, traditional painting. I thought this artist was mainly watercolours, but, but going by that it might actually be gouache? Gouache? I have no idea how to say it, but you know the paint I mean. So let's take a quick look at some of the basics pages. You've got your equipment and things like that. Outfitting creatures. I'm hoping that it's going to have a lot throughout it about the sort of inner movements, the mechanics, which is usually good for learning to sort of develop and draw your own characters. Gives you a bit more of an understanding. And for those of you who can't tell, I am a big lover of fantasy art. It is something I plan on getting good at or hope to get good at. I saw this one online and I thought this one was really cool. This was one of my favourites. And I didn't really have too much to go on with this book in terms of, I don't think it's a hugely known book. So it's kind of nice to be supporting the artist by buying their things. Ah, cool. Hey, look, there he is. <laughs> but the reviews for this book were pretty good. And on Amazon, I think it gave me a bit of a preview at some of the pages and yeah to be honest I liked what I saw and I thought why not and this book at the time of buying it was £20 it is a hardback it feels quite good quality everything seems decent quality inside that's a weird looking guy this doesn't sound overly exciting I know but drawing trees and rocks is something I always think I really should learn because it kind of seems basic but I have no idea how to really do it effectively. Hopefully this artist won't mind me showing and flicking through a few pages like this for people to see. I always say that I hope these videos might help people, you know, make up their mind, maybe decide on whether it's a book they would like to buy. It's got some really beautiful artwork in it. Um, a lot of what I buy and follow now isn't traditional artwork, so it's nice to see things like this. And I do like that it's got instruction to it as well. So I am actually going to leave it at that because I flipped through quite a few pages there. I skipped quite a lot between everything uh, because I don't want to give too much away. But yeah, I just wanted another quick look at drawing books video because these are easy enough to record and I do buy a ton of art books because I'm just someone that cannot help themselves when I see an art book that looks awesome. I just can't resist it. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you've got this book or if you've got any other art books that you think are really awesome and worthwhile checking out. As always, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks everyone.